Hey, click on this comment here for context, but our dear brother made a video about, you know, who we are in Christ. And uh, I want to share some scripture and just let God's, Jesus' word speak for itself. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know him. Beloved, now we are children of God and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed in us, right, we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. And anyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Jesus Christ. For we shall be like him. There's more. Let this mind be in you. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking on the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. Pause and read all the rest. Now, this connects very beautifully ah, to Hebrews 2.17. Therefore, in all things, it behooved him. Uh, in all things, he had to be made like his brethren. This is us. Therefore, it behooved him in all things that he, he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. High priest in the order of Melchizedek, not Aaron. It behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. See how it connects? Made himself of no reputation, taking on the form of a bond servant. servant. And, you know, humble yourself. There's so much more, but don't let anyone rob you of who you are in Christ. This is Jesus praying that they all may be one. Jesus is saying that they, us, all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me and the glory which you gave me, I have given them. This is glory, right? That they may be one just as we are one. But we all with unveiled face, um, Speaking about Moses, read it all for context. But with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of God. In a mirror, the glory of God are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. From glory to glory. But remember, humble yourselves and you shall be exalted. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things of the earth, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. And for good measure, um, they're calling Jesus a blasphemer, and he says, you know, is it not written in your own law, I said, ye are gods? If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye, ye of him whom the father has sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemous, because I said, I am the son of God. If I do not the works of my father, believe me not, right? But, and then Jesus says, you know, you will do these things and even greater for I go to the father. This is glory. And the world tries to twist it, be like, oh, you're getting into Gnostic beliefs and stuff. It's like, no, no, I, I'm talking about what the Bible's saying, what Jesus is saying. And here's a verse being quoted from Psalm 8. What is man that you are mindful of, of him or the son of man that you take care of him? You have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor and set him over the works of your hands. Ye have put all things in subjection under his feet. Remember, let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men. In Hebrews 2.17, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren.
And here's Psalm 82, verse 6. I said, you are gods, and you are all children of the Most High. Now, we'll just let Scripture interpret Scripture. A lot of people will say, that is not speaking that about us. That's speaking about the whole, um, you know, the, these council of the Elohim here. It's like, okay, yes, but guess what? Jesus uses the context in John 10, 34. Jesus Christ himself. Right here, Jesus answered them. Is it not written in your own law? You know, what the scripture said is good forever. It can't be broken. So then he's saying, why do you say I blaspheme when, when he's saying what he's saying, right? And then we're also told, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ, who thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. All right, I love y'all. And it's time that we understand and believe the glory from glory to glory as in looking in the mirror who we are in christ that he did what he did for us john 17 21 jesus is most beautiful i, I shouldn't say most beautiful but such a beautiful prayer jesus christ says I do not pray for these alone. Read the whole thing, John 17. Read all the Bible. It's all beautiful. But don't let the world deceive you because, you know, it's so easy for everyone to just say whatever they want, you know. But when you actually read the Bible, then you know the truth and the glory that we have in Christ and the liberty. It's being set free from sin. What does that mean, being set free from sin? We're, we're all still sinners, but we're set free from sin. What does this mean? I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they all may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one, just as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be made perfect. It's just so beautiful. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may, may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundations of the world. We'll end it with this. 1 Timothy 3.16 And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh. Justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. Without controversy, God was manifest in the flesh. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. And all things were created through foreign word of the word of God, right? Jesus Christ, God manifest in the flesh. So God spoke creation into existence. Jesus Christ is the word of God made flesh and the Lamb of God. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ. Love y'all.